So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite. Now, before we talk about the main event, we got to talk about a segment that happened before this. So yeah, we see uh, Renee Paquette interviewing Kyle O'Reilly. He was talking about how great it was to be back in the ring and all that stuff. This past Friday on Rampage, and he's going to do more stuff. So yeah, that's what happened there. But then we get to the main event. It was Swerve Strickland with Prince Nana at ringside versus Kanosuke Takeshita. In a one-on-one in a more contenders match, Don Callis was on commentary for this match. And this match is whoever wins this one will be facing the AEW World Heavyweight Champion Samoa Joe for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship at, at AEW Dynasty. So yeah, we get to this match. And this match, it was a really good match. It was going back and forth and everything. Both of these guys beating the hell out of each other during this match. But we got to talk about the ending of it. So yeah, the ending, we see Swerve hit the last call on to Kanosuke. He climbs up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with a swerve stump onto uh, Kanosuke. He pins him. One, two. Kanosuke barely kicking out at two. And he still has some fight in him and everything. Trying to beat the hell out of swerve. Hitting the jumping knee to the face and all that stuff. And then at one point, he tries to hit the pop-up powerbomb onto swerve. But swerve reverses the pop-up powerbomb with a swerve stump onto Kanosuke, which was insane. He picks him back up and then he hits big pressure onto him. It was a brutal looking one, and then he pins him for the one, two, three. So, yeah, Swerve Strickland defeated Kanosuke Takeshi tonight in the number one contenders match. So, at uh, AEW Dynasty, it will be Samoa Joe versus Swerve Strickland, one on one for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. That's what's happening there. But then, after that, we see Samoa Joe watching all this stuff going down on the TV monitor backstage, and then Renee Paquette comes up interviewing him, and S Samoa Joe was somehow how Swerve was going to catch that fade at Dynasty, and he says that, you know, he's going next week, Swerve is going to sign on a dotted line, dotted line of the contract, but he's going to make something very clear to Swerve next week. Uh, so yeah, that's what Joe had to say there. But yeah, really good match between Swerve and Kanosuke. I'll give that match four and a half stars as well. I'll give it great match between those two guys. I would say that was match of the night was the main event. It was really good stuff. Now, they had some really good matches tonight, just lacking segments like hell. Well, like, you know, in-ring segments. Like, it was really lacking that. I re like, they should have threw something up there, like somebody doing a promo inside the ring, but that didn't really happen tonight. It was just more wrestling and all that stuff, which the matches are was good, but, yeah. But, yeah, uh, for tonight's AEW Dynamite, I'll give it... I'll give it eight and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a good show. The matches was good and stuff. So, yeah, that's why I'll give this show. But, yeah, that's been my AEW Dynamite review. So, like, subscribe. Subscribe to TNW Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris McDaniels. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. I'll be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later for this Friday's Friday Night SmackDown reviews. See you guys later. Till then.